And now for race number 10, who do we have, Paul? Race number 10 will feature Corey Sargester, Lewis Charleston, Zach Owenson, and J.J. Nehemiah. Zach Owenson, also a very good swimmer in New York run. Let's see how well he'll do in this race. Best of luck to these four players, and please start the race. And who is in time? Our both players. That means Corey Sanchez and JJ Nehemiah will have the opening edge up in the front, making their way towards the boundaries. And now Corey Sanchez is for us. So it's JJ Nehemiah who have full control of the lead up in the front. But look for Zach Arsene's incredible swimming ability later on. That could be a key towards coming back next season or preferably a world championship. And now JJ Nehemiah is for us. That means number one will have to be up in hand for the Silver Charter Cowboy. Lewis Johnson will have the privilege to defend the best position for his second place of the H job right now. And by right now, of the H job making their way towards the Amethyst Boy Sherman Neal, of course. And it's Zach Orson who will get the first few ups. He desperately needs to catch up every now and then. He's going to be heading for the water, and he should be off and running. There he goes. JJ Neymar is powering with number 7 and 8 over at the bridges. At speed versus number 2 in this race, we may find number 8, who leads JJ Neymar and number 7 in the dust. Number 1 he dominates over the 4 Silver Child with an easy third place over Corey Sanchester as they make their way towards the top of the hill. And number 1 talks for me. So he will drop down a place or two by the way we'll set it. As the next BS we meet by, JJ Neymar, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. He is a lot more help to stay alive. By right now though, it is number seven. As we pass the one minimum, who is way behind in the competition on the way back. And number eight Thomas from one. As he will have the next command BS, trying to get back sixth place from JJ Neymar. Meanwhile, Zach Orson is battling with the great Lewis Johnson up in the front. These two John are going to be the first to approach the wall. Zach Orson should keep this up and he should win this for his swimming ability. And it will be number one who will get the next class viewers. And he regains the lead over the force of the child from number two. Poor number seven, meanwhile, is still way behind. But from JJ Nima, but it's number eight who will get his second speed bus to the base. Zach Orson and the great Bruce Johnson are making way past the waterfall. And Corey Sanchester at number one are both going to rest. And so is number two. So it's Zach Orson versus Bruce Johnson up in the front. But I think Zach Orson should have the upper hand of this team. Yep. Yeah. Next BS belongs to number one. That makes sense. I can speak about the base. And number seven is going to rest again. So he'll be glad behind the competition. And Zach Orson, with that swimming ability, pulls up the great Bruce Johnston to win this one. As the next few years we may find, Corey Sarchester begging his second speed bus to the base. So Zach Orson now has three wins up on the board. He only had two wins prior to our final preview show. Now he has three, and if his swimming keep, keeps it up, he might as well come back next season for Joe Racing 2020. And it looks like JJ Nemo will get his second speed bus, and that is going to do it. Number seven can just forget about this race. All right, so Zach Orson overcame his snooze, and he wins this one with a swimming affair. That's right, who will prevail in this next race? We'll soon know after this one from our sponsor.